Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, today the Muslims, they, uh, they raise a question, which is an old question, you know, and uh, uh, I have my Skype open just to inform the Muslims. The question was, or the challenge was, is it a shame that the Bible says you marry from your rapist? Who is a Muslim when I call me and say it is a shame to marry from your rapist? Who is a Muslim who dare to call me and to say it's a shame to marry from your rapist? Any Muslim? Uh, I will give a chance actually to a, a kid, his name is Ultimate. Uh, ultimate, if you are listening, call me. Uh, we have a Muslim coin already. Let us see this guy. <clears throat> hmm. The hang up. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Hello? Yes, do you hear me? Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm very fine. So what do you think about our topic? Uh, today, Muslims, they say to us, it's a shame that somebody, uh, no. like in the Bible, brother, says... Brother. Uh, I'm so sorry. I cannot, I cannot watch it because Patreon, I need to pay, I need to pay the Patreon, you know, five dollars. No, my friend, you can go to my page in YouTube. It's in my page in YouTube. In my page in YouTube. In YouTube, you don't have to pay, and even in Patreon, it's for free. But anyway, listen. Is it a, is it a shame? A Muslim today he said to me that there is a verse in the Bible says that if a man he rape a woman, he have to marry her. Is it a shame to do so? What do you think? If a man rapes a woman. Yeah. A woman, a woman, mm -hmm. he has to marry. It's not a shame. Why not? It's such no, it, why, why it's not a shame? But it, because you know you do it out of spite. You don't. You are not yourself. You know, when you are you, when you see a woman, you have this desire. You have this earthly desires. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, earthly desires. It is. It is. God knows better. You know. Okay. Well, you know, I I, uh, okay, listen, yeah. I, I have no time for, I, I have no time for a stupid talk, uh, because you are not really helping me. I mean, I'm asking you, so you are saying to me, it's okay for a man to rape a woman, he have a desire, that's what you are saying. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is, this is what you are saying, and this is, this is exactly what Zach, this is exactly what Zach and Naik, he says, Zach and Naik, he says, well, hold on, hold on, let me play, let me play what Zach and Naik, let me play what Zach and Naik said. Allah says in the Quran, oh, hold on. in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 59, O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the believing women that when they go abroad, they should put on the cloak, they should put on the jilbab, so that they shall be recognized and it will prevent them from being molested. Quran says, hijab has been prescribed for the women so that they shall be recognized and it will prevent them from being molested. I'd like to ask you a question. That suppose two twin sisters who are very beautiful, who are equally beautiful, if they are walking down the streets of Dubai, walking down along the Cornish, and if one twin sister, she's wearing the Islamic hijab, the complete body covered, except the face and the hands up to the wrist, and the other twin sister, she's wearing the Western clothes, the mini skirts or shorts. And if both of them are walking down the streets, in Dubai, along the Kondish, and if on the side there is a ruffian who is waiting for a catch, who is waiting to tease a girl, I am asking the question, which girl will he tease? Will you see here, Zarka Naik, he said that if a woman she is wearing a burqa, nobody will rape her. But isn't it all Islamic countries, they will burqa and women get raped already? Isn't it Saudi Arabia is full of rape? And women, they wear burqa still. So what this guy is talking about? And you are saying, with you, and you agreeing with him, saying, well, a man he have desire, so he rape. 
So if you yourself, yeah, you're if you see a woman and you have a desire, so explain? yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I, I, I do not, I do not need explanation. I, I want somebody, you know, have some. Uh, I think we have ultimate for trying to call. Hold on, my friend. Why are you are calling again? Hello. Don't don't call. Hold on. You know, if I have time for you, I, I think ultimate fault on a call. <clears throat> hmm. Ultimate fault. He hang up on me. All right, what we can do? We called him twice. Who as a Muslim would like to call me and tell me if marrying a woman you raped her is a shameful act? Who as a Muslim is willing to call me and give me the answer? You have to be a Muslim to call me. If you aren't a Muslim, I will hang up on you. Hello? Yes. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes, yes, AP. How are you? I'm fine. So what do you think about our topic? A Muslim, he said to me that there's a verse in the yeah. Bible that says that if a man, he rape a woman, then he have to marry her. And they say, this is disgusting. What do you think? I think uh, what you put, what you, what you just played before from Zakat Naik, I think he's saying about the hijab. The hijab and jilbab. It doesn't matter. This is, that, not the, that, this, is, this is not the topic that, now. This, this, is is. Not, this is not the question. I ask you a question. What do you think first? And then we can go to Zakat Naik. So what do you think if a... Uh, the Bible says there is a verse, according to Muslims, it says that if a man here is a woman, he have to marry her. Is that disgusting or it's a it's good thing? It is. Uh, of course it's disgusting. Okay, it's disgusting. Do you, are you sure? 100%. What makes you 100% sure this is disgusting? Explain to me. First of all, he's right, you know. He's, uh, he's, uh, that's, that's wrong. Okay, so because it's a wrong, so is it a crime? Of course it's a crime. Is it he's something? Right, you know, then he's going to get married to her. Okay. Of course it's a crime. And what what else make it more disgusting? According to it's a crime. What what else he makes it disgusting? He's raping her. Raping her. Okay. Well, isn't it your prophet he raped Sophia and then later he made her his wife? The prophet Muhammad he raped Sophia. Mm -hmm. Where 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 does he say that? Can you please enlighten me? Well, I heard that in Mickey Mouse in newspaper. Are you telling me you never heard of this? <laughs> no, are you, telling, wanna, are you telling me? Are you telling me you never heard this before? Here we go. This is Sahih, and the Hadith says no, well, that well, the well, Prophet. I've, I've read the Quran a lot of, uh, multiple times. No problem. No. Uh, no. Hadith, look, I'm not a alim or anything of that. No but, problem. Here we go. The Hadith, the Hadith is in the front of you. Take your time and read it for us. Go ahead. Your English is better than mine. I would like to hear it from you. Go ahead. Read it from the screen. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Don't forget to mute wait, YouTube, please. Don't forget to mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. Hear me from Skype, if you don't mind. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. All right. Let me have a look. <laughs> what, what hadith is it? Well, the hadith in the front of you, and this is Sahih. Yeah, let me. Two hmm. seconds, yeah. Why is taking yeah, time, I've got it. Anas ibn Malik mm -hmm. said we come to Khabir. Khaybar. Mm -hmm. Khaybar. Uh -huh. Khaybar, Khaybar, yeah. Ma'arak al Khaybar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. We bestowed the conquest of fortress on us. The beauty of Safiya, daughter of Poray, was mentioned to him. She was purified, so he prohibited with her. Hmm. Prohibited with her. Okay. So he killed her husband, and he slept with her in the same day. Okay. So you said to me, and everybody heard you, that raping a yeah. woman, raping a woman is a shame, is disgusting, and marrying a woman yeah, is more disgusting. So you are a prophet. Not of only, course. not only he raped a woman, he killed her husband, he killed her brother. 
he killed her father, he killed her tribe, and he raped her, and then he made her to be a wife. But you are the one who said to me, this is disgusting. Go ahead. Sorry, I did not hear you. Say again. You know, of course. Of course, it's disgusting. So your prophet is a disgusting man. I don't hear you, my friend. I don't know what happened. So, the thought of this we are, look, it's going to have to, it hasn't cost us. Do you understand what I mean? I did not hear anything from what you said. Can you repeat again? By, by what you, you, what I'm trying to say to you is, you've got these ahadiths and they're in Sahih, uh, Muslim, Sahih Bukhari, I think, by, by what we're looking at. Yeah, this is Sahih. Here we go. I will show you on the screen. It says Sahih. Anas, 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 Malik. So yeah, it is we Sahih. Can't, we can't do Anas. As you see, as you see, it says Sahih. All right. Sahih, of course, yeah, Anas ibn Malik. We okay. Not so him okay. So it is uh, disgusting. It's disgusting I, to rape a woman. It's disgusting to marry her, and you confirm that to me, and I ask you the question three times. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Now you're a prophet. Not only. Uh, rape her actually he me the, the, the Muslim men they were exchanging her before Muhammad he have her Yahya uh, uh, Kalbi he took her and then Muhammad he told him I want to have her take take four and give me this one or play exchange her so you're a prophet he himself he practiced such a thing and he did such, such a thing okay Look, read with me here it says, this is, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, it says, the Prophet stayed with Safiya, been to Huyay for three days on the way of Khaybar. And then he married her. Three days he was raping her. After three days, he decided to marry her. He liked her. So what do you think about what you said to me, that marrying a woman you rape is disgusting? Huh? Of course, of course, it's 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 completely wrong. Okay, so you so wrong. you're a prophet is a bad person, correct? Yep. You said yes. Yeah, st something like that. We have to. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Not a, yeah. I I to, I disagree with rape completely. I'm against it completely. Okay. So Muhammad is a disgusting man. So when I want to ask you, look like you are, sound like you're an honest Muslim, what, 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 which is very strange. What, 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 I am, I am actually, I'm suspecting, I am suspecting that you're a Muslim. I never heard of a Muslim. He say Muhammad saying doing this something disgusting. Are you really a Muslim? No, Can no, you? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Well, yes, I'm not saying Muhammad so, is, is disgusting. I'm not saying that. So what you say? I might have to run this by. I have to for do who like we have to go back to someone more knowledgeable than us. Maybe and run it, run it by him. I'm not saying that at all, CP. Look, I listen to you a lot, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, you put forward great arguments. Okay. Well, a lot you do. You put great arguments, and subhanAllah, like I've read the Quran, I've read the Ahadith, but nothing like this has crossed us. You've you've actually done a lot of research, you've actually done a lot. Yani, for, from my perspective, I, I personally reckon we are, not, um, we, we are not very experienced in our own religion. To 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 the dialect of the, the what we have to. Okay, my friend, my friend, I mean. you do not need to what? be experienced. I'm showing you reference. It's simple, clear. I mean, you do not need to be a scholar. I'm helping you. I'm showing you reference. No, 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 no. And it's a like we've we grown up. With yeah, that. and there is no there is no other way to say uh, it's okay. Blah blah blah. I mean, either it's okay or it's not. I mean, this is not really about being a scholar. I asked you, is it disgusting? You said no, it no, is no, disgusting. No, Maybe a chef, maybe maybe a chef from around where we okay. are. Okay. Do you have a do you have a do you have a sheikh? Do you have any sheikh in your in your phone book? You can call him right now and let him join us in the <laughs> no, conversation. No, no, no. no you're gonna ask him that. There, there is no. I have I have where we are. Hmm. I have. I'm I'm calling you from Australia, by the way. And I've I've, I've always listened to you, Sam Shamoon, David Wood. <laughs> I've always listened to you. Put two two together and that. But I'm very surprised that why I know someone that's knowledgeable calls you up that knows. Like for my look, I'm I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. Like I see that hadith that you just uh, put down to us on the screen. I haven't heard it before. Hmm. I've never heard it before. There's a lot of things we haven't heard from our religion. We haven't experienced. We haven't read. We read the Quran. We we, we fast. Uh, we pray Jum'ah, We we do. 
Hmm. But we don't, we, we, there's a lot of hadith that you put forward and they're sahih too. So that's why I'm not arguing with you. I'm not saying to you, CP, they're wrong. Hmm. I'm not saying to you they're wrong. They're, they're right. They're from Anas ibn Malik, you know. Maybe the, maybe the chef can have a different tafsir to it. What tafsir? So even, this, Allah, even, never, even this one, the tafsir, here we go. He attacked her family. He killed them all. He killed the, the woman. She was a bride. She's a bride. She just got married. He killed her husband. He killed her brother. He killed her father. Yeah. And now he's raping her. In in al Ma'arik, in al Ma'arik, Ma'arik al Badr, Ma'arik al Hudaybiyah, Ma'arik. All the Ma'arik, like, uh, there's even even with Christians, I heard, like, even though we get in the Ma'arik, you can actually take hmm. uh, Ghanaim. Hmm. Is that true? You can take well, Ghanaim. No, in the in the Old Testament, when they go to war. The ones they take them as a slave, the women she she have to shave her head, head for and she to stay uh, like uh, she will go to to, to, to zero to yeah. zero. Yeah. She will shave her hair. Why? Exactly. Why she shave her hair? Because simply, the man is not allowed to sleep with her. She he, she cannot sleep with her. In order to sleep with her, he have to marry her, which means he cannot rape her, and then he marry her. He have to marry her. Okay. Okay. So. Even if though she is a slave, still he have to marry her. So this woman here, her husband was killed, and she is a bride. Her father was killed, her brother was killed, and yet Muhammad he did not even wait until the sun set, and he raped her immediately. Do we need explanation for that? Same time when the Muslim they say, same time when the Muslim they say that the Bible says marry your rapist, they are lying. This is the chapter in the front of us. Everybody can go and read. The Bible speak about cases as an example. If a man and a woman, if a man he slept with the woman, and this woman she is engaged, and then he take her and he lay with her. Obviously, those two they are doing fornication. It's a fornication. It's not. It's not a rape. And then, yeah. and then those both they will be stoned to death for fornication. Now we go to the second case. A man, he found a woman, and this woman, uh, she is in the, in the field. And he raped her, literally, he raped her, all right? And this woman, she screamed, you know? She screamed, she asked for help. Yes. Help, 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 help. But nobody helped there, nobody heard her. It says there in front of us, the man shall be killed and the women shall not be punished for she have no guilt. She did not agree. Then the Bible continues saying, if a man he found her in the, in the in like whatever a place and this because she, 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 she cried out, she asked for help, you know, there's no punishment. But if a man, he did that to a woman and she is a virgin. And he lay down with her, and they've been found. You see, they got busted. It's not like she's screaming. Yep. And both of them, she is not married, he is not married. Then this man, he will be given opportunity, both of them, to fix what they did. They will not be killed. They will be offered to get married. He have to marry her for the sin they commit. And now, he cannot divorce her ever. So the Muslim, they lie, they say, well, this person, he raped her, and now he is forced, he was being forced, but as you see, here in this case, she did not uh, scream, she did not ask for help, they've been found. They've been found both doing it. In Islam, we cannot find one single verse in the Quran about the punishment of rape. Do you have any idea about any verse in the Quran speaking about punishment of rape? No, look, zina al zaniyat wa zani, fajridu kulla wahidin minhuma mi'at jalda. Did the zina is there? Yeah, but but this is no. This is for this is fornication. This is not this is not uh, uh, rape. Where where is the rape? There's no rape. This is fornication. If a if a man if a man he commit fornication, if he is. And I'll read the Quran for Allah. Huh? I've read the Quran part a lot in Arabic and English. No but problem, but there's no single verse, my friend. I challenge any Muslim to show me one single verse in the Quran about the punishment of rape. 
Allah have time to speak about the ants speaking and Suleiman is laughing. The flying carpet of Suleiman. The genie of Suleiman. The, uh, uh, you know, I mean, all the stupid stuff of uh, Suleiman. But Allah don't have time to make one verse about what is the punishment for rape. Punishment for rape? Yeah, where is uh, the verse? Uh, it can't come under Zina because that's not... It's not, that's not a tisab, that's not... In fact, it is under zina. You believe it or not, the Muslim, they don't have punishment for rape. The only time a, pers a person, he will be killed. If he do rape, if he use weapon, because that is considered under what is called hiraba, where it says, cut his hand, cut his feet. Uh -huh. So this is the only time a rapist will be killed, not because he's a rapist, because he use weapon. You understand? Yeah, so he used the weapon. exactly. Now, at the same time, in order to 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 prove a rape in Islam, you have to get four witnesses. Four witnesses. Oh, that's for the zina, isn't it? That's for. It's the same. It's the same. Arba, you know. Arba ashur, arba no no for... problem. It's the same because how you can prove that this has happened without witnesses? You cannot just say. Good, you, 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 know, can, you cannot uh, just say, my friend. You cannot just say. This person, he did rape her, right? You have to bring okay. him. You have to bring him. Either he ad agree that he did, or you have to have witnesses. Let me show you a case okay, which I'm Muslims not. always they quote for us, which is funny, proving Muslims to, to, to fabricate. You know Arabic, right? Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay. This is a hadith. It's called Sunan Abi Dawood. This is the only hadith Sunan speaking Abi about yeah, yeah. somebody, he did rape a woman, and they brought him to Muhammad. And look what happened. In the hadith, they say, in the hadith, yeah, and listen, I want you to read, my friend, you are reading, focus with me, focus with me. This is a hadith, the Muslim, they say, this is about a woman, she rape a man, he rape a woman. The woman, she point her finger at the man, it was the wrong man, then the man who was the rapist, he came and he said, it's me, and then the prophet, he said, stone him. However, the Muslim, they will not mention to us that this is a lie. If you read in the corner, can you read the corner here and tell me what it says in the screen? As long as okay, you know Arabic. Right in there too, that's why. Wait two seconds. Hmm. Wazaniyatu la yankihuha illa zani. Oh, no, that. What? Is that the one? No, I'm showing you in the screen. No, 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 I'm showing you in the screen. Do, do you see the screen? I'm showing you the YouTube screen. Yeah, yeah. I can say I'm on it now. Mm -hmm. And it says, Is that the one? No. From down the bottom? No, it says, I don't know what you, why you are seeing that. I'm showing you here. It says, Hukum Hassan, Duna Kawlihi, Urujumu, Wal Arjah, and Nahulam Yurujam. So this hadith is, is not, uh, is, is Hassan, which is, is good. And except, yep. except his statement of saying, stone him. And in fact, mostly he was not stoned. So even here we see Muhammad did not stone the oh, man yes, for yes. rape. Yeah, I've got it now, yeah. I've got a bit of the light, but yeah, yeah. Okay, so you see it? Hassan, so it says, Hassan, Hassan, except, duna qawlihi, except, huh? So the hadith is fine, except the statement here where it says, stone him. This is not true. And in fact, mostly this person was not stoned. In the English, it doesn't say that. In the English, they took it off. They took it off. All the statement is gone. It's not there. Why? Because the Muslim they need this hadith to say, well, this here we go. The Prophet he punished a man by death for he raped a woman. In fact, even there it says he did not do so. And that's from Sunan Abi Dawood. So. Command, yes. The, you know, that's yes. Very so, so, so here we see that even the only reference which is about rape, it says clearly that the man was not killed. Yep. Okay. So now, there is no punishment in the Quran for rape. The word rape never mentioned. In the Bible, we have very clear explanation about cases. A man is fornicating with a woman. A man is married, fornicating with married women, or she is engaged, that considered the same in, in, in Judaism. A man is laying down with the women, she did not scream. That's mean both of them, they agree. 
So here we see that the Bible is giving us a solution for three cases and zero solution in Islam. You have too much noise, my friend. You there? Yeah, you have too much noise there. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's all right now, Yeah. So anyway, uh, so there is no punishment for rape in Islam. And your prophet, he was a rapist. And that explains why there is no punishment for rape. Let me ask you, when the Muslims, they kidnapped the women from their husbands, and they came to Muhammad and they said to him, we are going to uh, do protection when we have sex with those women. Do you know the story? When the, no, I don't, to be honest with you. Okay, it says here, during the battle of Bani al-Mustaliq, which Muhammad, he killed them all, most of them, and he took the females and he took Juria too. He raped Juria. So the Muslims captured some females and intended to have sexual relationship with them without, uh, you know, like uh, making them uh, have a babies. They don't want to have uh, babies. So they asked Muhammad, are we going to like protect ourselves? Like, you know, would it draw before we have orgasm? Muhammad is saying, no, you do not need to do that. So make them have babies, no problem. So they, those are women who you just captured, and now you are raving, not marrying. And Muhammad, he have no problem with that. Muhammad himself, he captured Juria, and he raped her in the same day. This is different hadith. Al-Bukhari, hadith number 2541, it says here, I wrote a letter to a nafi blah, 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 okay? And then the messenger of Allah suddenly attacked Bani al-Mustaliq without warning while they were headless and their cattle were being watered at place of water. Their fighting men were killed and their women and children been taken as captives and the prophet, he got Juria in that day. <laughs> Guys, do you hear it? So, it is disgusting to marry a woman you rape. Juria, Muhammad, he raped her. Safiya, Muhammad, he raped her. And then those potatoes, they say to us, it's disgusting. When the Bible speaks about something totally different. Do you see how shameful it is? Maybe we have a Muslim, I'm not sure. Let us try one more. Maybe this is ultimate fart. Hello? Hello? Turn, turn off your camera, turn off your camera. Turn off your camera. Huh? Hello? Hang up your camera. What time? I don't know the time? What time? What time? I don't hear you. I understand this guy. If you call me, don't open your camera. <clears throat> Let us see this guy. Hello? Don't open your camera, you idiot. Let me block you. What's wrong with those people? 
He's laying in the bed and his camera is open. Now about Sister Hatun. First of all, I don't really encourage women to go to speaker corner. She can whip the floor with Muhammad nose from her chat room. She do not need to go to speaker corner. Let the men go there. This is my advice for her. If you cannot take the stress and what will happen there, then don't go there. We do not need to make a drama about it. Those are Muslims and we know what Muslims mean. So let the men do their job and women, she can sit in here behind their computer. She do not need to go anywhere. She can wipe the, 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 the face of Muhammad with her shoes every day from the morning until night without going anywhere. All right? Now, any Muslim have an explanation for the claim. So you Muslims are hypocrites. You claim that marrying a woman, you rape her is disgusting. Yet your prophet married many women. He raped them before he married them. And here you see the stupidity of this cult. They throw at you what they have, not what we have. The Bible doesn't say what they are saying. It is they who practice what they are accusing us with. And actually, I did not make this video. I wasn't planning to come online, but just to show you how stupid and silly they are. They think they have something. Those people, they have something. They think they have something against us. You, have, you are bankrupt. Everything you accuse us with, it is you who did it. Actually, I can show you that you can have sex with your mother, and there's no penalty for that. You can have sex with your daughter, and there's no penalty for that. What is the penalty for having sex with your daughter in Islam? Zero. Your mother? Zero. Your sister? Zero. Read carefully, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Ibn Abbas' father said, seven types of marriage are unlawful. Marriage? Marriage? What marriage we are talking about? Because of a blood relation. Forbidden for you, the marriage of your mother. <laughs> Abdullah ibn Jafar married the daughter and the wife of Ali at the same time. <laughs> All right. And they were a stepdaughter and mother. Ibn Sarin said, there's no harm in that. The mother and her daughter, no harm in that. Okay. Uh, Al Hassan al Ansari disapproved it at the first, but then he said that there is no harm in it. Hassan ibn Hassan al Hassan ibn Ali married two of his cousins in one night. In what? Not only two sisters together in one night. Boom, boom, three sum. Jafar ibn Zayd disapproved of that because it would be bring hatred between the two cousins. This is the problem. Guys, the problem is <laughs> hatred. <laughs> All right. He made two of his cousins, huh? By the way, here between two brackets, it says between two his cousin. You know, this is, uh, this is not there. This is just an additional to explain. But it is unlawful, not law, unlawful. As Allah said, lawful for you, all others. Where it says, uh, where it says not, not lawful for you to marry your cousin. <laughs> then Abni Abbas said, if somebody commit illegal sexual intercourse with his wife's sister, his wife does not become a lawful for him. Uh-oh, he's having sex with the wife and the sister of the wife. Have fun, that's this now. Abu, and narrated Abu Jafar, if a person committed homosexual with a boy, then the mother of that boy is unlawful for him to marry. Hmm. Anyone getting busy? If somebody have sexual intercourse with a boy, 
Then what is the problem? You cannot marry his mother. <laughs> this is so fantastic, brother. This is so beautiful. This is so good to be true. They are angry because the Bible says if a man and a woman they lay together and she is single and he's single, she did not scream, she did not ask for help, which means she agree. They have to marry. But they are not upset from all the garbage they have. They're prophet he raped women, and then he married some of them too. The rest he did not marry. And the reason he married those two, because they are the daughters of the leaders. Muhammad, you like to be equal, like this is the daughter of this tribe leader. She is now my wife. So he can use her for his propaganda, not only as sex slave. Ibn Abbas said, if one commit illegal sexual intercourse with his, his mother-in-law, who? His mother-in-law. Then his married relationship to his wife does not become unlawful. So the guy now is having sex with the mother of the wife and the wife. And that will not hurt his marriage. Abu Nasir reported to have said Ibn Abbas in above case regarded his mar uh, uh, marital relationship with his wife unlawful, but Abu Nasir is not known as well for hearing the hadith from Ibn Abbas. Hmm. What if I show you that you can have sex with your daughter in Islam? As long as she is a daughter from adultery. As long as she is a daughter from adultery. There is no punishment for having sex with your mother in Islam. Your mother. Let me, let me, let me find the reference. Hold on. Let us see. I found the reference actually, but I want to find uh, a smaller page, easy to translate. Let us see. Here we go. Islam web. This is the reference in the front of your eyes. Is marrying Mahari. Mahari mean your mother, your daughter, your sister. If somebody marry his mother, it is any punishment for that? What is the punishment for marrying my my mother in Islam? Any Muslim have an answer? Who is a Muslim have an answer for this? What is the punishment for marrying your mother in Islam? Let us use Google translation, shall we? Translate to English. 
And the funny is that the Muslim asked him that somebody he married his mother and he was suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> However, all the scholars they agree that if a man he marry his mother, his daughter, or wife, or committed adultery with one of them, all at the same all this, all, all, all of them, they are the same. They are equal in that. All is a fornication. But there is no punishment. Let us see where it says. Here we go, where it says Abu Hanifa. When we arrive to Abu Hanifa, hold on, here we go. Abu Hanifa, he says, there's no punishment in all of that, not no limit, no punishment in all of those things he did, including what? Sleeping with his mother, sleeping with his daughter, sleeping with his uh, wife, daughter, sister. This is Islam. The only thing he have to do, he have to pay them for the sex he practiced with them. And this is the reference. There is no punishment. In Arabic, wala hadda alayhi. There is no had had in Islam mean, you know, like uh, either cutting your head. Stoning you, cutting your hand, but uh, they will punish you by what? Like pay her some money. That's it. So what we notice that Muslims, when they throw things at us, they throw what they have, not what we have. They take what they have and they claim it is you who have it. If you go in the Quran, and we read a verse, chapter 25, verse number 54. If you read this verse, it doesn't say anything, really. It says that Allah, he made the, the relationship by marriage. What does that mean? It means you are a son of your father if your father is married legally, according to Islam, to your mother only, which means if you are not a son or a daughter of a married man, you don't carry the name of your father and you don't inherit him. And I challenge any Muslim to say this is not true. And because of that, Islam does not consider a daughter from adultery as daughter. So it's not forbidden for a Muslim to sleep with his daughter from adultery. Who is a Muslim want to say to me online? Who is a Muslim want to say you are lying? وَهُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ مِنَ الْمَاءِ بَشَرَ فَجَعَلَهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا Any Muslim have the courage to say this is not true? that you can have sex with your daughter from adultery? Any Muslim want to take a challenge? This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I challenge anyone who speak Arabic to say this is not what it says. Actually, we are going to use Google Translation and we will read what Google translation, which is not really a correct translation, but will do the job. قال ابن العربي النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله ابن العربي said that 
Nasab, which means lineage, is considered as mix of the water between the man and the women. This is what Muhammad said. You remember the women, she have water coming from her ribs. <laughs> according to Sharia law. So if it is not according to Sharia law, it is just a creation. So if it is just sexual relationship, then there is no lineage. Muhammad, he told that the son belonged to the bed owner. Was that, what does that mean? If your wife, she sleep with 10 guys and she have 10 babies, none of them is yours. According to Islam, those are yours because you are the one who owned the bed of the wife. This is how stupid Islam is. Have fun with that. You cannot deny that this is your son. In the same time, your son or your daughter, who they are from your blood, as long as they are not your son and your daughter from marriage, they cannot carry your name. So look what happened. Muhammad the idiot, he switched, it's a change. The kids who are not kids now, they will inherit you. Can you believe it? And the kids who are your kids, they cannot inherit you. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the hadith, let us see this hadith here. Uh, <clears throat> By the way, if you want those reference, if you want those reference, let us post this reference in the chat so you guys, you can save them. How many of you are saving reference? I saw the admin posting reference for you. Are you going, guys, saving the reference? I hope you do. You need to take to make a folder in your uh, computer by category and save hadith by category. I'm showing you now. Catholics and Islam. What this? What Catholic have to do with Islam? Don't, we don't allow donkeys here. Nobody fought Islam as the Catholic, so shut up. Who is the crusade, you idiot? Talking about the Catholic. Here, all those reference in the front of you. one after one and this is the one which about the funny thing about having sex with your mother and your mother-in-law and all right save it please because later you might ask me where we can find it and i say to you well you go find it then right <clears throat> uh where is the hadith? Here we go. This is the hadith about having sex with. Uh, here we go. 43. Yeah, I will post the link, which is in Arabic. Here we go. Give me a second, hold on. This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi, and here it says, I will copy the Arabic and post it for you. Let us see if Google will accept all oh, this Arabic text. No, Google will not accept it. I have to take some of it. Hold on. Let us do this. Maybe this will work. Is the Arabic text coming? Did the Arabic text came? <clears throat> All right. 
So if you read the interpretation there, it says it clearly that if a man have sex with the women and he have daughter from that woman, it is not under the Quran where it says it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter because she is not considered your daughter. Therefore, because she is not considered your daughter, so she is not forbidden for you to have sex with the mother and your daughter, for she is not your daughter. At least by Sharia law, she is only your daughter by blood. Can you believe it? Having sex with your daughter? What kind of religion this religion is? And the Muslim, they say to you, do you know what the Bible says? In the morning, I forgot to answer Abdul. He was saying, oh, actually not in the morning, now, now. Abdul was saying something about Solomon. He said, so aren't you proud about Solomon? Who's Solomon? Solomon, in the Bible, is a sinner man. David is a sinner man. You see, the Muslims are so silly. They do not know what Christians and Jews believe. The Bible even mentioned how bad their sin is. The Bible mentioned how God is upset from the sin of men in the Bible. And he named them by name. And those men, they cry to God asking for forgiveness. And then they say to you, Isn't it, aren't you proud about Solomon? We have only one person to be proud about. That is the Messiah. Our best example to live is the Messiah. The rest are followers. Peter is a follower. Paul is a follower. Luke is a follower. All of us, we are followers. Follow who? One name, the Messiah. We don't follow David. We don't follow Solomon. We don't even follow Paul. We don't follow Peter. We follow Christ. And those names, all of them, they follow Christ. And whoever don't, he will be punished for his sin. As simple as that. So, all the garbage they have in their religion, they try to throw it at you. Next time a Muslim he say to you, sir, the, the same question. Do we remember what the answer, guys? If a Muslim again ever he said to you, the Bible allow ra you know marrying a rapist, what do you say? Anyone remember what we say? What what do you what you should say? Don't tell him Muhammad he marry a rapist right away. Say, are you sure this is disgusting? Let him say yes. Like the gentleman who called me. It's disgusting. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. This is disgusting. Are you sure? Absolutely. So why Muhammad did rape women and later he married them? Even though I'm not in the mood to go live, really, but I wanted to give them a spank before they sleep. Because this is not really the time I go, you know, uh, I don't like it uh, too, too much to go at this time of the day. I prefer in the daytime. But I said to myself, you know what, I look at my fingers and look like they are not, I mean, because they turn red from spank spanking them. And they are not red. I, I get upset, like, what? My hands are not red anymore. So I have to do some work. And the funny, this guy, Ultimate Fart, he posted a video saying that he is going to refute me, supposedly. Now, your prophet is the one who did rape some he married them, and many he did not even marry. This is how stupid they are. And that's why when we said, call me, Ultimate, he did not dare this time. Actually, each time he called us, we spank him anyway. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. 
Remember one thing. Never take a quotation of the Bible from a Muhammad. And they don't know their own religion. They have no idea what even we are talking about. They are copy, paste. There's an article saying the Bible, the Bible, by the way, all Islamic countries, all Islamic countries, they practice marrying from the rapist. All of them. Morocco, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon. I mean, if I show you the list, it's endless. This is a website for uh, legal, you know, this is not, nothing to do with religion. It's called jurist. Victim of rape law. How laws in the Arab world protect rapists, not victim. So look at how funny they are. They accuse us of something, but they practice it. Criminal code of Iraq. You can click at the code, by the way, at the name, and you can download the whole law with details. This is not an article only. You can click at the country, and then you can download the PDF file about the law there. Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Kuwait, Bahrain, Algeria, Tunisia, Palestinian territory, Egypt, Morocco, Jordan, I mean, you name it. So they are the one who marry the rapist to the victim. And yes, they say, hey, disgusting. You are truly disgusting, by the way. Man, this is the first time I was able to make a sound like this. That sounds good. So now I do not need to call the wife of Zachary Naik. I can make the sound. Okay. The link? Okay, let me give you the link. No problem. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. So you see how funny they are. Victims of rape and law how the laws of Arab world protect rapists, not victims. Any Abdul? They are so quiet now. Very quiet. Christians, how many of you will copy this video and share it around? and add subtitle in your language. I hope, I hope the work we are doing is not going in the wind. Honest to God, I have a headache. I'm not really in the mood to go, and I don't, I hate it. Honestly, I hate it. But I hate in the same time not to do my duty. So I hope that we as a Christians, we are going to go and do our duty because this is how they will mislead your child. Your child will go to one of those pages and they will show him those things, which is a lie. So how you are going to make your child not to be a victim of their lies? If you deny that there is Muslims in the school where child, your child go to, you are a fool. And Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity. While your son, he have no idea what we are talking about. He's busy playing games. Muslims, they spend a lot of time learning how to attack Christianity since a very early age. When they are eating their food, they are feeding them hatred against Christians. Christians are pigs, monkeys. They are dirty, they are filthy. I remember once a Muslim, he said that a teacher of Islam, he taught him in the school that we Christians, before we get married, the priest have to sleep with the wife for one to two to three nights before the husband have her. Can you believe it? This is what they teach to a high school student. And by the way, this Muslim guy is a very nice guy. He's not a good, he's not a bad guy. But he wanted to tell me because he could not believe it that this is, you know, he said, I mean, I know that you are not, there's no way you accept that. 
And he was afraid to death to tell me. He asked me, actually, he promised me you will not hurt me if I say this to you. He said, you will say what? Why are you are so scared? What's, what, what's wrong? He said, just to promise me first. This is what they teach their children. What do you teach your children before they go to school? You tell them that Obama says Islam is peace, and George Bush says that too. And there's actors, they went in TV, very famous actors, they say Islam is wonderful. A lot of deception in this earth. All famous people, they are saying something, and the truth is something else. There's only one famous man, he was a truthful, and they wanna, they all, all, all over him. They hate him. His name is Trump. He said, Islam hate us. Just because he was a truthful, they hate him. In the same time, we don't want you to teach your children to hate Muslims. We don't want to be the same as they are. We want you to teach your children how to be protected from the hatred, from stupidity, and from deception. So he will not hate the Muslims at the same time, he will not be victim of his stupidity and deception. Be aware of false teachers who come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. Sadly, these days, even we have a priest, monks, who say Islam is Abrahamic, hypocrite, cowards. Isn't it the Bible says, whoever denies the Father and the Son is Antichrist? They don't want to read that verse. They don't want to know that verse. This verse disappears from their book, not literally. Whoever brings other than this scripture, he is cursed. He is from the devil. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, he is an antichrist. And you know the rest. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is your brother, Christian Prince Humbly, who was trying his best to explain to you how to refute the lies of the liars. From their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. Never, never, never think about a person because of a cross he wear in his chest. He might be a drug dealer. Never. Think of a person to be Christian because he can sold himself a Christian. He might be the opposite. Fruit, my friend. Fruits. There's nothing called Catholic, nothing called Protestant, nothing called Orthodox. There's only followers of Christ. How we know them? From their fruits, not from their names. Only foolish people, they focus on the name. That is a name you created. The Bible have one name for us, Christians. Do you have a better name than, than Christ to follow, to be called with? Christians. All of us, we are Christians. The vision is from the devil. So don't be a fool. I would love to see Christians stop saying I am a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. I believe this is a sign of foolishness. Sign of foolishness. Sign of not understanding Christ. Signed by a Christian to be a Christian by name. I am a follower of a Christ. We follow no bishop. We follow no man. We follow God. We don't care for a Protestant priest. We don't care for the Pope. We don't care for the patriarch. All are sinners. I am a sinner. How you can trust? How you can put your trust in a sinner? You must be a fool. You follow only the Lord, the Almighty God, who said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, and no one can go to the kingdom of my Father but by me, by me, no one else. You do not need 
any middleman. Even though they try to make some verses in the Bible to look like we need some. The Lord, he says, come to me, those who they are tired, and I will comfort you. Knock at my door and I will open for you. My friend, the Lord, he said, every two of you mention my name. I will be between them, which means I will be the third. Anytime you need him, he is there. You do not need a Christian prince. If a Christian prince, he said to you, oh, if you go want to go to heaven, make a donation. He is not telling the truth. Those are fraud. Those are liars. You cannot bribe God and you cannot go to heaven by making donation. God is not a fool. And God is not for a sale. You make a donation because you have the good heart, not because if you make a donation, you will go to heaven. The Lord, he knew your heart. He will reward you for your heart, for who you are. Not because you want to buy a land in heaven, as Muhammad, he said. Muhammad in the Quran, he says, who want to lend Allah alone? Lend Allah alone? Do you think God, he need a loan? He don't. Ultimate, we asked you to call us, you did not call, you coward. Stupid idiot. Each time you call me, we spank you. And we asked you for the first five minutes, everybody knows. For the first five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I said, where's ultimate, call me. You coward, you did not call. Potato. And we have a, a thousand video of you being spanked. So just get lost. And you idiot. You know what? I'm going to go live for you only. Just now. Just for you. Ultimate. Even though I was leaving. <clears throat> I cannot resist the temptation of spanking you hard. I'm logging in Skype. Call me. I changed my mind. I'm not leaving. Ultimate fault. I'm not leaving. Call me. I will give you five minutes. If you don't call, you are a chicken like your father, Muhammad. TikTok. Let us see. It's really funny how those Muslims, their religion function. Where are you, ultimate? I don't know how many video we have of this guy. I mean, this guy, by the way, is very funny. The reason I don't like to talk to him, he just, he's very filthy, rude, you know. Same time, it's a waste of time because this guy, he don't agree with anything. The Arab are stupid. The Hadith is, all of it is a lie. And he does not know Arabic, and he is the only one can explain the Quran. <laughs> Last time he called me, remember he said, where it says you have to obey the messenger. I said, I said, no, I said to him, are you sure that the Quran doesn't say you have to, uh, to, uh, uh, to obey the prophet? He said, nowhere it says that. So I showed him the verse. He said, see, you said the prophet, it says he's a messenger. It sounds like it make a difference, supposedly. <laughs> it doesn't say prophet, it says messenger. <laughs> Where are you, ultimate? We're waiting, Benito. Well, look like he will not call.
seperti itu. Uh, you just block me. Okay, make a new name. How many names you have? Now you cannot make a new name. How will we find you? You potato. Call me, call me now. Call me in Skype, Hakim Nasser. So I have to find you now, Hakim Nasser. I have to find Hakim Nasser, guys. <clears throat> Hmm, let us see. Can't you make a new name? Will take you two minutes. Hakim Nasser. Let us see. Hakim Nasser. Uh, <clears throat> Do you know how many numbers I have here? I mean, how many names? I need a year to find your name. Let us see, letter H. <coughs> ah, here we go. You are unblocked, Hakim Nasser. Call me. Hakim, call me. I'm waiting. You're unblocked, call me. And you will see, he will not answer, he will shout, he will scream. He's a potato, he's a coward. He will not accept what his prophet said. He will not accept what Muslim says. He is a different kind of Muslim. He have his own religion, he have his own book. I'm waiting for you, Hakim. I will give you two minutes more. If you don't call, get lost. Like your prophet. Actually, I found your name. Here we go. I will call you. I'm calling him. I pick up. I just called you. Okay. And you refused to. to I am. Up. I am the one who was calling you, potato. Now answer. Did you say in your video is disgusting to marry from your rapist, from the one you rape? Absolutely. First of all, you need to clarify what you just said. Okay. You, you, said, you said. So you said but absolutely. You know, hold on. You see. You said absolutely you see, you disgusting. Like speak. Hold on. Yes, you said absolutely you disgusting to marry from your rapist. Did your prophet, did your prophet rape Sophia and marry her? <laughs> you will never let me speak. No, I will let you speak. No, no, we, we are talking. What? My friend, we just started. He will go. You said you you just you just agreed you just you just agreed your prophet you just agreed that marrying your rapist is disgusting. Pull up the screen. You, you try to fool the brother before. You mix up two, uh, two different sections of, of, of verses. Put on the screen Deuteronomy 22, 28, and 29. No problem. But the, let, us, let us finish this one first. Did Muhammad rape? Yeah, so, did Muhammad? See, did Muhammad rape? You, did Muhammad rape? Did Muhammad rape Sophia? Yes or no? I said no. No? Okay, here we go. The hadith in front of us, and I want you to read it. Yes, the hadith in front of us. So, I said, no Bible. Hold, hold on, hold on. Is, you are saying no. I am showing the hadith. What do you mean? What, what do you? What do you mean? I, I am showing. I am. I am showing the reference. So, what do you mean no? Say yes or 
not know if the woman did not scream, so she's... Hold on, don't change the topic, coward. Don't change the topic, we will go there. We will go to the Bible. I promise in front of everybody, if you are a man, you see, you are not a man. You you said you're a prophet that not marry, you will not let me talk. You will not let me, you will not let me talk, right? Okay. You said you're a prophet, you're a prophet that not rape Sophia. Did he rape? Okay, read the, read the hadith. Read, read the hadith. Read the hadith. I said, I don't go by the hadith. I go by then get lost. You are not a Muslim then. Then you are not a Muslim. Shut up, son of Mutah. Don't call me. You don't go by the hadith. So who are you? I don't go by the hadith. The debate is over. You coward, when I asked you about the Jannah, how many floor it is, you said 100 floor. I said to you, where you get this is from? This is from the Hadith. Coward, son of Muta. <laughs> and then he said to me, I did not say it's exactly 100 floor. I said, it's like 100 floor. Where do you get this from? From the Hadith. The Hadith says exactly the word 100 floor. So those cowards, when they want they don't go by the hadith when they want they go by the hadith and it's absolutely disgusting ultimate fault he said to marry from your rapist and he said i mix between verses here we go the chapter in front of us all the chapter in front of us there's a woman she screamed there's a woman she did not scream there's a woman she is married or she engaged and the case for each one of them it's in the front of us. Mixed what? You coward son of Muta. This is what your sister, the one she was doing Muta, she said to me. Marrying a girl, you did rape. Where we can find that? The law in the front of us. The woman you will notice here, guys. The women who screamed, it says it clearly, this person, he will be put to death. If a man and a woman, if we go from the beginning, they found together and he, they lay with her, then both of them, they should be stoned to death out of the city. But if a man found or find with a woman and he forced her and lie with her and then the man only that he did that he shall die not the women why because he forced her you see the word it says it clearly he forced her why here it says forced her because literally here he raped her that man shall be put to death but the women she will not be punished at all and she will not be forced to marry him anyway he will be killed Mary who? He forced her, he raped her. For he found her in the field and she cried, she screamed, but there was none to save her. So what the proof that she is raped, that she asked for help, she screamed. Another woman, who the same thing happened to her, she found a man, or a man found her, let us say he grabbed her, but she did not resist. She did not cry out, she did not scream, she did not ask for help. And she is single, and he is single. Obviously they agree about it. The man who did that to her, he have to marry her, and not only that, he have to stay married to her until he die. He can divorce her. So both they commit sin, both are sinners, and now you are out of a choice. Both of you fit together. And actually Muhammad the coward, he stated this verse and he put it in the Quran. He said, Azani li Zaniya, the fornicator, marry a fornicator. Those donkeys didn't know. 
The same exact verse, Muhammad, he copied it, he put it in the stupid book, it's called the Yellow Pages of Muhammad. And I will put the verse for you in the screen in a second. Chapter 24, verse number 3. The adulterer shall marry none but adulteress. <laughs> and the adulteress shall marry none but adulterer. Do you see it? So what we can do now? If you are an adulterer, you have to look for adulteress. Stupid! They don't know what is written in their book. This is why I have no patience to talk to this donkey. This guy, there's nothing to talk about him. He refuse anything. Say, okay, let's read the interpretation. Oh, don't accept the interpretation. Let us show the hadith. Oh, don't accept hadith. So who are you? He's God. He's God by himself. He's Allah in the earth. And he opened his camera and he is down in the bed and he is wearing his panty. This is your Quran. And by the way, if adulterer cannot marry anyone except adulteress, so Muhammad who's marrying who? Is it Muhammad an adulterer? Jesus said the opposite, by the way. You see here, Mary adulteress, what if she is married already? Like Zainab bin Tujash. When Muhammad, he went to the house of his own son and he flirted with his own son wife. Is that adultery or not? It is. She's married. She's not lawful for him. You cannot even think about her, especially she is your own son wife. The Muslim, they will say, oh, listen, he is son by adoption. So what? That's we can make it more ugly. So now you adopt the person so you can have access to the house and sleep with the wife. You gave yourself legitimate reason to be in the house when the husband is not there. And what do you do? You go and you do boom boom with the wife when the husband is not there. The hadith does not say he did do boom boom, but it's obvious. You just get out of here, coward son of Muta. If you don't agree with the hadith, I'm going to talk about what with you? There's nothing to talk about. Coward. All Muslims agree that Safiya is a wife. He captured her. She is a Jew. You're a donkey. All the Muslims agree that Juria, he captured her and he raped her, the same as Safiya. You are a donkey. So if you don't accept the hadith, so do you accept Islam? Islam without the hadith does not exist. Last time you called me, you said to me, nowhere in the Quran it says, obey the messenger. I said, no, it does. And when I showed you the, the, the proof, you said, oh, you said the prophet, not, this is messenger here. <laughs> Nowhere in the Quran it says, obey the, 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 the messenger of Allah. <laughs> in order to obey Islam, actually, you have to obey Muhammad first. وَمَنْ يَطَعَ الرَّسُولِ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهِ Whoever obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. He is God. In Islam. The coward, he says there is no such a thing exists in the Quran. This is why I don't have time to talk to you because it's a waste of time. You call names, you use dirty language, and you come with your own explanation. Okay, make a book about it. Let's see how many followers you will have. Make a new religion. It says, Hadith free, donkey ultimate fort. And I do not understand Arabic. I cannot read Arabic, but I'm going to explain the Quran for you. Let us see how many people will follow you. And by the way, this is a great sign. When the Muslims they start denying the heritage, the words of their prophet, this is a very great sign. That means they are going in denial of something hurt. You know, like when, when somebody discovers something, it's really hurting him. He don't want to listen to it. He don't want to see it. He go in denial. 
he loses his mind. And this is what happened to the Muslims. Oh, I don't believe in this hadith. I told you I don't believe in the hadith. Why you don't believe it? Did you ask yourself what makes this person don't believe in the hadith? Because the hadith is horrible. He cannot have an argument if he say he believe in the hadith, the debate is over. But all of us, we knew Islam is based on two things, hadith and Quran. There is tons of articles made by Muslim Sunni saying it clearly, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim if you reject the hadith. Why? Because more than 50% of the Islamic law is in the hadith, not in the Quran. As simple as that. Yeah, I block you because you are just a kid. Come back with a new name. Actually, the proof that you are a kid, you keep coming back. <laughs> I mean, you are, you are so kid, you are so child, to the point it doesn't matter how much you get emulated, you come back. And we laugh. <laughs> this guy is addicted to spanking. <laughs> You know, this guy reminds me of a joke in the Middle East. It's a dirty joke, but it fit perfectly with him and his prophet. There's a guy, he went to, to hunt the lion. So he told them, where I can find the lion? He said to him, oh, you find a big tree in the jungle, you will find the big lion sleeping there, snoring. He is old. So the guy, he took a gun, had one bullet in it. He went to the lion, and boof, he shot at the lion. The lion was a gay. He told him, listen, you have one of two choices. Either I do boom boom to you or I eat you. This guy, ultimate fault, he says, no, do boom boom. So the lion, he did boom boom to him and he let him go. And he did it once because it was only one bullet and he missed. Second day, ultimate fault, he come and he brought with him this time a gun had two bullets. He shot it twice and he missed. The lion wake up. He said to him, you again, either I eat you or boom, boom. The lion, the, the ultimate fault, he said, okay, boom, boom. So the guy, the lion, he did boom, boom to him twice because two bullets. So to make the story short, ultimate fault, he came after many times shooting, boom, boom, shooting many times, and always he missed. He came with AK-47, have 30 bullets in it. Until the, the magazine is empty. The lion wake up and he could not believe it. He said, what's wrong with you? Are you here to kill me or for the boom boom? This is who you are. You are here for the boom boom. You never know how to shot. And you know what will happen to you when you miss the shot. And this is why you always do it on purpose. You miss the shot. Boom, boom, boy. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I mean, this guy, he don't want to kill the lion. He is there for a boom, boom. <laughs> what we can do? <laughs> Actually, this story fit perfectly with this guy. He never called me once without being spanked, badly, horribly. And he do it again. And he claimed that we are the ones running away from him. No way. You run away from tafsir, you run away from the hadith, you run away from your prophet words, and you claim that you are the one who don't run. Good luck with your boom boom, my friend. Practice that as much as you can. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Forgive me for the last joke. It was a, an act of necessity. <laughs> to make it simple to understand, you know? <laughs> anyway, thank you, my friend. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is funny, made by a dummy for the dummy. Are you a dummy? As always we say, remember this, if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? As simple as that. How fool are you? Don't be fool, my friend. God, he gave us a gift, it's called the brain. 
there's no God, he is going to give you endless penis. That only in the cartoon, adult cartoon. There's no God will give you a lot of women and they have no panties and they are see-through. That's not even in the cartoon. We are now beyond the cartoon. There's no God, he will make a tree walk to you and give you grape and zucchini. That's not even in the cartoon. There's no God will make you 90 mile tall because that will make you look like a worm and you cannot even stand up. And your wife, she will be 30 mile tall. That is the most silly cartoon ever. So I don't know what to count for you, what to say for you. All of it is proving that the one who made this is a person who is living a fantasy of a stupidity. It doesn't even make sense. You see, there's many people that have fantasy, like to be rich, to be a king, uh, to be uh, to drive fancy cars, fancy house. But Muhammad, you go far with the stupidity. You live in New York and your penis in Mars. And your wife, she is next to you. Good luck, wife. The penis now have to make a U-turn to come back to you. <laughs> and even Muhammad, he promised him a certain power, like, you know, you say like 100 horsepower, 400. Muhammad himself, he would have the power of 4,000 men of Dahman, Dahman, boom, boom, push hard. Excuse my language. I mean, can you imagine? Not only it's a stupid, it's filthy, it's disgusting, it's low class, it's trashy, it's savage. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it, is, it is what it is. It is what it is. This is cannot be from God. Nobody can accept such a thing. How you can believe in that? Right? All right, guys, please don't flood the text and don't repeat the same text many times. Don't do what the Muslims do. We, we see it once, twice, and that's it. All right? Thank you very much. God bless you. Download the video, share it, and don't forget the boom, boom story. It's very helpful in the case of such you know, certain people. <laughs> they are not here to debate me. They are here for the boom. <laughs> they think I am like Muhammad, <laughs> interested in boom. <laughs> We spank you, but doesn't mean we are going to do boom, boom, my friend. You get it wrong when I say I spank you. You love it, don't you? So you said to yourself, uh-oh, did, you, did he say spank? Did I hear that correctly? We don't meet it literally, literally, you idiot. Stupid. Unbelievable. Take care, guys. God bless you all. Take care.